Here we are having 50 degree. Here we are having X. Here it's Y. And here it's 130. Let me read the question, what exactly the question is asking. So here the question says, find the value of x, y, x and y, and then show that a, b is parallel to c, d. Okay, so this one is a, b. This one is c, d. We don't even know whether a, b is parallel to c, d or not. Okay, so we cannot use any concept which is related to parallel line. So which concept we can use it over here? We can use only the concept which we have already learned. That is the concept of linear pair. Okay. And the concept related to vertically opposite angle. All right. Okay. So whenever we will see here 130 degree. Can we say this and y will be same? Yes, ma'am. Can we say that yes, y will also be 130 degree? Yes, ma'am. Why? Because both are vertically opposite yes, angle, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now we know y is 130. degree here x we, that x and this 50 all together are making 180 degree because both are sitting on the same straight line right we can say here if this is point o if this is d then we can say that this x plus 50 will be 180 degree because both are linear pair and from there we will get the value of x right Yes. And the value of x we will get from there as 180 minus 50, that is 130 degree. All right. Okay. So x is 130. Now we also have to show that these two lines are parallel with each other. So AB is parallel to CD, that we have to show it. So if this this angle and this angle are same, we can say two lines are there, A, B, and C, D, where here, if we will say D, D is already there. Let me give another name, P, Q, and And if we can say where PQ is then this angle angle AO if this equals to angle Q not Q here DMO yeah here we can say angle AOM is equals to angle D M O both are exactly same and making vertically opposite angle with each other right not vertically opposite pair of alternate interior angle can you see it yes ma'am and hence we can say hence line A B must be parallel to line C D you must know that when we are having two lines cut it by a transversal Okay, so if the alternate angle are same, then both the line will be parallel. If corresponding angle are same, then both the line will be parallel. If the sum of interior, uh, interior angle on the same side, the sum of that will be 180 degree, then we can say both the line are parallel with each other. These are the condition which is only applicable for parallel line. So here this condition we are getting, then we can say it's a parallel line. Okay. Okay. Yes, Ifra, we have just started exercise 6.2. She is having this parallel line concept of, uh, which will be there for her exam also. And uh, what you want to discuss as a next topic? 
ma'am theorems proving theorems related to yes ma'am which which chapter ma'am uh, i want to know that asic congruence rule proving theorem proving that uh, triangle chapter yes ma'am okay you want to start triangle right yes ma'am okay we will be starting uh, uh, when you are having your exam ifra uh, ma'am they post uh, they postpone my exam on uh, 10th of this month that is after 4 days okay after 4 days you are having your exam yes ma'am and you know maisha when you are having your exam tomorrow is my exam tomorrow your exam and uh, they are also triangle chapter is there no ma'am we have done okay uh, just give me a second uh yes ifra uh, there is a plan so since she is having tomorrow only her exam is there so we are going to continue with this one to uh, tomorrow i am keeping your class from 8:30 only in the ist uh in the e evening and uh, please note down all your doubts whatever you are having we will be discussing everything over there okay, okay is it okay ifra okay ma'am okay so let's continue with this one like a few questions are there we will be covering and it will also help you to here we will also be using vertically opposite angle and everything so just related to maths only angles only okay so let's continue with this one is it okay yes ifra do you want to continue it's okay ma'am okay okay let's continue yes ramaisha so the, is it clear the first one yes ma'am clear yeah. okay let's do the next one so in the figure let me draw the figure at first here we are having one line having another line here we are having third line here a b this is cd and this is ef here is a transversal there 
here y is there here z is there all right it says that ab is parallel to cd it is written over there that ab is parallel to cd and it is also written over there that cd is parallel to ef we also know over here 3 is to 7 find x okay we have to find x so if ab is parallel to cd and cd is parallel to ef there is a theorem which says if two lines are parallel like first two are parallel then the next two are parallel that means all three are parallel with each other okay so here we can say if ab is parallel to cd and cd is parallel to ef we can say clearly that ab must be parallel to ef that means all together all three are just parallel with each other one more information is given over here that is y is to z is 3 is to 7 that day i was explaining you the meaning of this ratio whenever we are having the ratio we can separate it by taking the same variable with each and every one so if y is to z is 3 is to 7 we can say y is 3x z is 7x we can take same variable and multiply it with each and every term and then we can separate it we can separate the ratio so we can say this y is 3x and this z is 7x all right now if we will focus on the parallel line let's see whether the, both are making any angle with each other or not so if ab and ef are parallel with each other and this is the then can we say this x and this z will be equal can we say can you see that z and x will be same because both are pair of alternate interior angle am i audible yes, to both am i audible yes ma'am so can we say x is also 7x the value no, of x okay i have taken x only because x was already there so we must take another variable okay x value will also be 7k because x is making pair of alternate interior angle with this z okay so this x is also 7k now what we have to find we have to find the value of x okay we have to find yeah the value of x over here now we will focus on this two parallel line the first two ab and cd only ab and C, cd and this is the transversal here only you are not here here only you are having x x that means 7k that means 3k so can you see both are parallel line cutted by a transversal and here both the angles 7k and 3k will add up and will give 180 degree because both are co interior angle are you getting it angle interior angle on the same side sum will always be 180 degree do you know that yes rumaisha rumaisha do you know that yes ma'am so, can we write 7k Plus three k will be one eighty degree. That is co interior. Yes, ma'am. This document. I don't know why.
Okay, let me. So I was saying that seven k plus three k. Both are making one eighty degree. From here, we will get ten k is equals to one eighty degree, and the value of k we will get from here as eighteen degree. Okay. Now, what we have to find? We have to find the value of x. We have already written that x is equals to z. That means x is equals to seven k. Once we know the value of k, easily we will be able to find the value of x from here. Right. Yes. So this is how we will be doing question number two. Now let's do the next one. Suppose we are having this figure. If you are having a better understanding of interior angle, uh, like uh, alternate interior corresponding angle, uh, do you know that, or I need to explain that? No, ma'am. I'm aware of it. Okay, you already know that. So here we are having this this kind of figure. This is Z. This is E. This is A. Here we are having B. This is C. This is D. And the question says, if AB is parallel to CD, already both the lines are parallel with each other. Okay. What else the question is, uh, says? It says that EF is perpendicular to CD. As we can see, EF is already perpendicular. This ninety degree is shown over here. Okay. Now, angle GED, angle G. E D that is given as one hundred and twenty six degree. Find angle A G E. We have to find angle A G E. We also have to find angle G E F and angle F G E. Let's see how can we find these angles. So we will again take the help of all those angles which we know already. The alternate interior corresponding and everything. So G E D. Let me mark it. G E D. The total angle is given. One twenty six. What is asking? A G E. A. G E. This angle is asked in the question. This one. All right. G E F. G E F. Very simple. G E F. We can find it very easily. Can you see this G E F? This much we can find easily. The total is one twenty six. This much is ninety degree. So if we will subtract. From one twenty six, if we will just take it out ninety, we will be left with this pink angle, right? Yes, ma'am. So here, just write it. One to, rather than focusing on the first part, which is asking whatever is possible at first, let's find it at first. Okay. So here we can say this angle will be one hundred and twenty six minus ninety. If we will do the subtraction, what we will get? One twenty six. Minus ninety, it will be six, thirty six degree, right? Yes. So we got G E F already. We got that is thirty six degree. Let's write it. This is thirty six. Now what we have to find A G E and we have to also find F G E, F G E this angle. Okay, this this angle we have to find. Now, now 
Now let's see what can be done. So suppose we are having this like uh, here, it's clearly written in the question only that AB is parallel to CD. Let me draw it separately with a transversal with AB, CD. And suppose I'm taking this one as a transversal, GE as a transversal, okay? The complete angle I know this is, this one is 126. One twenty six. So, can I say this one will also be one twenty six? Can I say? Yes, ma'am. That angle AGE will also be one twenty six. Why? Because both are pair of alternate interior oh. angle. When AB is okay. parallel to CD and GE is a transversal, then AGE will be equals to this total one twenty six, right? So let's write AG is also 126. Now what we have to find? The last one, that is F, G, E. Now if you will focus on F, G, E, you can see the other one is making linear pair, right? Right, Ifra? Linear pair is there in your syllabus also. So this one is making linear pair. Do you agree with that? Yes. So we can say, that if this is 126, then other one, we will find it by subtracting it from 180. Okay, if this is X, then we can say 126 plus X is equals to 180 because both are linear pair. And from there, we will get the value of X as just after the subtraction, 10 minus 6 is 4. You can do the subtraction and you can do the calculation by yourself. No need to do that. Okay. Is it clear, Umaisha? Yes, ma'am. Let's move to the next one. So this is how, if, if you are not clear with what next, how to proceed uh, over here, then please draw the parallel line separately and one of the transversal line. Here you can see two transversal, this 90 and uh, EF is also, EF looks like a transversal, G looks like a transversal. So just draw one transversal at a time and try to think about it, whether it will give any angle over here or not. Okay. Now the next figure is like this. We are having this way, then we are having this, then this, yeah. The name is P, Q, this complete is 110 degree. R, S, this is 130, this is T. Okay, here it is given that PQ is parallel to ST. So if PQ is parallel to ST, let's extend it so that it, like in reality, it must look like a parallel line and it will help us to solve the question further. So this total, let me draw it. Yeah. is parallel to this total. Okay, I told you while doing the quadrilateral chapter that you can cut out the parallel line, still it will be parallel. You can extend the parallel line, is still it will be parallel, okay? So I have extended both the parallel lines so that we can think about it, which one is transversal or what. Now it says that angle PQR is given as 110, angle RST is given as 130. What we have to find? We have to find angle QRS. angle Q R S we have to find Q R S means this angle we have to find okay so if we will draw P Q and S T separately if I am drawing it here this is P Q and this is S T okay now what we know we know that let me draw the figure properly so that you can relate with that Here we are having this way. This is PQ, this way, this way, and this way. 
Here, which angle we know? This angle we know. One thirty. If I am stretching this one, and will stretch this one, then we can see this one is one thirty, right? And this one is PQ. This total is one hundred and ten. Okay, we can also stretch it in other way, rather than from here. We can stretch. If this is R, this total is given as one hundred and ten. We can do one construction over here. Okay, when we are extending the parallel line, exactly the alternate interior angle, corresponding angle, co-interior angle. We are not getting anything clearly from the above figure, so we are trying to think about one construction. So if we will do one construction from R, and let's say R O, we are drawing a parallel line R O, which is par. We are drawing a line R O which is parallel to S T. so we are drawing the construction ro parallels to st now it is given that st and pq are parallel so we can say all three all together are parallel with each other okay right now only we have discussed if two lines are parallel and other two pair are also parallel then all three are parallel with each other right okay. now if you will look at it this is 130 Here you will get one angle. Can we say both the angle will be pair of like uh, uh, interior angle on the same side? What is the sum of interior angle on the same side? One eighty. One eighty. So if this is one thirty, can I say the other one will be one eighty minus one thirty? That yes, is fifty degree. we got this angle now if we will extend this parallel line and will compare it with other parallel that is pq let's see are we getting anything let's see can you see here also we are getting pair of interior like co interior angle that is 110 this q is 110 here this one This one is one hundred and ten. So can I say this one will be one eighty minus one hundred and ten? Yes, ma'am. So it will be one eighty minus one hundred and ten. That means seventy degree. So the other one at R, it will be seventy degree. Okay, here we are having seventy. There we are having fifty. Now if we will focus on complete straight line R O. Suppose this is. S is already there. If if we are saying this is M, so M R O. If we will focus on this complete straight line, then this one of the part is seventy degree. Another part over there is fifty degree. We have to find the middle part. Okay, this one we know fifty. This one we know seventy degree. So the middle one is again making linear pair, right, Ifra? can you see like this we are having yes ma'am this is 70 this is 50 so can you can we find this one by using the linear pair concept yes we can find that is 70 plus 50 plus this angle will be 180 so it will be suppose this is angle 1 so angle 1 will be 180 minus 70 plus 50 and easily you will be able to get that angle Q R S, right? Are you getting it, Rumaisha? Yes, ma'am. So what we did exactly? We did one construction. Okay, we have constructed a line R O that is parallel to S T. That's what we are declaring. Now, since R O is parallel to S T, R O will be parallel to P Q also, because when two lines are parallel with each other, S T P Q parallel. S T R O parallel. All three are parallel. You are having 
a hundred dollar. I am having hundred dollar. You are having equals to me. I am having equals to Ifra. That means all three together we are having hundred dollar only. Like I am having hundred. Rumaisha is having hundred. Ifra is having hundred. Right? Yes, ma'am. Got it. Let's do the next one. So if we are having a line like this and a line like this, and if we are having a triangle like this, one twenty seven X, this is Y. This is 50. Here we are having C, here Q, here R. And here D. What exactly it's written over here that AB is parallel to CD. Angle APQ, angle APQ that is given as 50 degree and PRD, PRD that is given as 127. Find X and Y. Again, you have to take the parallel line and the transversal one by one. If you will take it one by one, then easily you will something you will be able to get. So if you are taking two parallel lines, cut it by a transversal QP. Here we are having 50. So can I see this one will, this X will also be 50. Can I see? Yes, an alternate interior angle. Alternate interior angle. Now, if we will focus on the other transversal, that is PQ, uh, sorry, PR. If we will focus on that, can we say this is a transversal? Okay, let me write, uh, let me draw it separately. Otherwise, again, you will get confused and you will take only Y as a 127, which is not true. So if we will take this PR and ABCD I have drawn. Here we are having 127. a second. Here we are having 127. Can I say they are also total all together will be 127? Even if there is a triangle kind of a structure or whatever is there, the total all together will be 127, right? That yes, means this Y plus 50 all together will be 127. Not only Y. Total will be 127. With the parallel line, we have to take the angle. Okay? So, okay. from here, we will get Y value as 127 minus 50. That means 7. 77. And here? Yeah, what? Yeah. 77. Right. So, here we are getting 77. Okay? Y value we already got. X value we already know. What exactly is asking in the question? X and Y only. It's very simple, right? Yes. Let's do the last one. Uh, just a moment. Let me inform to activate the test for you. Thank you. 
Okay, let's do the last one. We are having a figure like this and like this. Here, mirror plays parallel to each other and incident ray AB strike the mirror. Okay, uh, just leave this. Okay, this is just a practical kind of question. Your mirror image and everything is there. And in your exam, you will only be having question related to parallel line and transversal line, right? Right, you, Rumaisha? No, ma'am, this question will also be coming. Okay, this, this question is also important? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's discuss that. So we are having a line like this and a line like this. Okay, here, let me draw the figure, then we will be reading the question. This is there, this is there, and this one is there. Here, it's P, B, and Q. R, C, S. Here it says that in the given figure, PQ and RS are two mirror placed parallel to each other. PQ and RS are just two parallel lines we can take or two mirror placed parallel to each other. Okay. An incident ray AB strike the mirror PQ at B. The reflected ray moves along the path BC. Okay, whenever you are uh, just uh, whenever you will put the light on the mirror, it will reflect, right? That's what you have learned in physics also. The incident ray will be there, reflected ray will also be there. Okay, so that's how this incident ray AB is there and it is getting reflected, that is BC. And it strike the mirror RS at C. Again, reflect back along at C since again C is a mirror it will reflect you can check it by using a mirror when you sometime you have seen your watches is giving the re reflection somewhere in your class or while walking in the room or like in the room or just by walking in the afternoon have you seen the watches watches give the reflection just a small dot a light comes on the face sometime on the eye have you seen anyone yes yeah, that is the reflection of the mirror. Okay, that's how the mirror give the reflection. So, and strike the mirror RS at C. And again, reflect back along CT. Prove that AB is parallel to CT. We have to show that AB is parallel to CT. Okay, let's see what can be taken over here. So if this two are parallel line, if if this one PQ is parallel to RS and this is the transversal, if we will say, then this complete angle will be equals to this complete angle, right? Let's check whether it is working over here or not. Or let me check it on paper that what exactly will work over here. We will go in that direction only. Right, 
Okay, so this approach might not work over here. Okay, so here, if we will take this type of construction, suppose I'm dropping a line, a, a perpendicular line over here. Okay, like this. And I'm dropping a line over here also. In such a way that both are, both are perpendicular and both are parallel with each other. Okay, now if we will focus over here, can we say this two, this two blue are pa parallel line and this is a transversal. That means this angle will be equals to this angle. Can we say? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Can we say? Yes, Alternate interior angle. Let's write yes, the name properly. So if we are saying, if we are saying this is L and this is M, then we can say that this is x, then this is x. Let's write it. Angle L, B, C, C is equals to C is equals to angle M, C, B. Is it clear? Yes. Now we can also say over here, that angle of reflection is equals to, we know that angle of reflection is equals to angle of incidence, okay? So here we can say, let me mark it. This angle and this angle, this X, incident and reflection. So angle gone, then angle reflected. Both the angle will be same with each other, right? So if this is X, we can say this will also be X. Can I say? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. That, that came from the concept of physics only that angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection. Now we can say all, th uh, all three are equal with each other. And what else can be said? Here also, angle of incidence on the other mirror, if we are talking about the other mirror, that is RS. So here also angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection, right? So if this is X, we can say this will also be X, right? Can we say? Yes, Rumaisha, can we say this will also be yes, X? Because this is yes, angle, ref this is reflected one, this is incident one. First, we have focused on the upper uh, upper mirror. Then we are focusing on the lower mirror. On the upper mirror, angle incident, angle reflection. Now, just focus on the lower. Forget about the previous thing. Incident, reflection. Can we say both are same? So all together, it became X, 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 X. Can you see all the X angles? This is X, this is X, this is X, and that is X, okay? Now, if we will take the parallel line AB, what we have to show here, let me read it. Prove that AB is parallel to CD. So if we will take AB and CD, 
and we will take this transversal let me write it here this is a b this is cd okay and if we will focus on the transversal pc then this total is this total is x plus x that is 2x and this total is x plus x that is 2x can you see it can you see it rumaisha yes ma'am and hence can we say ab must be parallel to cd because pair of alternate interior angle are already same yes ma'am yeah so here basically here if we will start with directly by taking uh, by seeing whether any angle are getting same or not we will not get it first we have to apply the concept of physics over here okay one construction we will be doing over here that is bl and cm by taking a perpendicular line just we will draw a perpendicular line now totally we will focus on the concept of angle of incident angle of reflection both will be same okay now the two perpendicular line which you have taken their alternate interior angle they must be parallel the two blue line at first we have taken two blue line both are both are parallel we have done the construction in such a way now from there we got alternate interior angle x and x after that we have totally focused on angle of incident angle of reflection for the first mirror angle of incident angle of reflection for the second mirror now we are done okay now we are done if now if we will focus on a b and c d we can see all together it's 2x all together it's 2x and alternate interior is getting same hence a b c d must be parallel with each other got it yes ma'am yeah here uh, rather than writing the angles and uh, everything with the name if you will give it a name like suppose this angle is x that will also be x that will also be x so it will make your work easier okay do you have any other doubt this was the last question from the ncert which i am having do you have any other uh, query from here no 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 okay so it's clear right yes yeah so yes best best of luck for your tomorrow's exam all the best do your best Thank like you, you are more than prepared don't worry just relax and you will be able to do all the questions and yes after the class just go to the go to your app see if test link is activated then please give the test which is related to this topic i am not telling to you ifra because you don't have this topic so no need to uh, activate the test and no need to give the test we will be discussing about your topic tomorrow okay and yes meanwhile you just just collect all the important question wherever you are having doubt otherwise i will start congruency from the very beginning so do you want me to start congruency from the very beginning both the exercises are there everything is there 